Hey, everybody. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Good to be here with you. We're doing a, a on-the-fly video because I'm super lit up and excited about things that are happening in the coming months. Uh, I'm sitting here in Santa Monica, California. Thomas is in Boulder, Colorado. I love in it. In the snow. In the snow. Yeah, it's not snowing here. But we are here because we want to share something with you that is so on our hearts and in our souls and what lights us up. And we want to share it with you to light you on fire. So my question to Thomas is, why is it important to you to connect with oneself? Why do you think it's so important to connect, to take time to connect with oneself and then to express that, reveal that in the world? In the context of writing a book as well, right? Yeah, we can talk about that because that's definitely where we're going. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's a great question. And this, this, this is, let me start with why it's important to connect to yourself. And as I even rephrase that question, let me connect to myself, which is why it's so important. Because the moment that question hits my mind, I start rattling off answers from my cognition because the question is addressed to my cognition and there's answers that are there yet if i really drop in and i feel my sit bones on my chair i feel my breath i can feel my body mind if you will the answers are rooted much deeper in my soul the the answer that comes from a deeper and more integrated truth of my being and so if if I am going to express, whether it be a book or whether it be in a relationship, there's a depth of truth in which our audience can touch us or that we can touch our audience through. There's a richness in, in really the knowingness of where this story is coming from. Fiction or nonfiction, I don't know that part as much. That's not my specialty, right? But to really get into the wholeness of one's being and express something that is on every le level aligned and true so that you feel complete and whole and powerful and strong that what you are sharing is wholehearted not only does it feel good to be able to express that but that's where our audience whoom, is captivated they're drawn in to like they're drawn into who we are which means i want to use the analogy of sex can we do that here? Yes. I was just talking with someone about sex yesterday where sex is great. Sex feels great. Like it's wonderful. And there's times you just want to have sex, but you almost want to have sex with the skin and, and the breasts and the yoni, like, like that. But then really, I want to have sex. I want to make love with someone's soul. So if as a writer, you speak from your soul, I get to know the depth of your humanity and whatever it is that you're sharing. That's how we reach each other and touch each other and, and share our stories, which creates our culture and, and shares and grows what humanity is, which is in part what our stories are about and our storytelling and our sharing and our writing. It's not just to, I made a book and I'm really popular, that's wonderful. We wanna to touch the world, which means we have to touch ourselves first. Yeah. <laughs> Done. The end. No. <laughs> well, and, and so that's, that's what lights me up. Like that's why, and, and knowing your, knowing your retreat last time that happens. You're not just like, this is a purpose. I mean, I don't know those details. There's a way that your event last time touched people's souls and people rose out of their humanity to write things, which means emotions come up blocks come up limitations come up abundance comes up and there's times we need help navigating that or being curious about that or maybe diving in a little bit more to that or oh my gosh what do i do with this and that's where i get to come in and really walk alongside the people not teach not tell you but actually be like intimately curious of your story what is it that you're sharing where does it stop in your body how come you can share this beautifully until you talk about I don't know, whatever, uh, dragons. And then why all of a sudden do you like freeze in your stomach and you're like, I, I stop. 
it's just an example. I don't know. There's so many. A lot of people are going to write about dragons. No, that's going to resonate. That resonates. I get it. So for me, having that opportunity to like step inside, not the writer's mind, but the writer's mind, body, mind, heart, and soul. Oh my gosh. Like, are you kidding me? I'm in like, what a pleasure. Like what a journey to be in that with the creators who are, who are coming in on this journey. So boom. That's why I'm lit up and excited to be here. Thank you. You are, you're, you're pulling that out of me as you say that. I am, I am even more inspired and more lit up. This is the beauty of collaboration, of co-creation. Yeah. Anyone watching this, specifically those souls out there who have that call, who know they have that story to share, who have that book to write, or, or they don't even know if it's a book, but they have, they have this yearning to, to go within first so that they can then go without and express it into the world from that soulful, wholeful place. This is for you because yes, you don't have to do it alone. And, and that's what we're here for. We are here to create a sacred container. Thomas, my Self, some two other beautiful women that you may or may not have already seen on a video, but you will. Um, we invite you to come into this space with us. So I'll give you the quick details. We'll share a link and I'll see yeah. if Thomas has any last words. We are going to be in the energetic vortex of Costa Rica, March 21st to the 26th. Five days of paradise and going within, right? So that you can express this book, this story, this message from that truthful, honest place. And you're gonna be surrounded by these four pillars of light, love and strength and power and able to hold you and guide you through this process. So whether or not you are starting a book, you're in the middle of a book, you wanna finish your book, this is going to support your journey. And again, it's about the book, and it's not about the book because whatever you whatever you go in there for, you will be surprised at what you walk away from. So we'll make sure you know how to find out more about this. But I, I my heart to your heart is uh, in extending a very deep, deep invitation that if this is a call to you, if this resonates with you, this is for you. And I invite you to reach out or have a look at the information and join us. Thomas, any last words, my brilliant, brilliant brother? Ah. Uh all feels complete and yes i look forward to those who are going to be down there and, and if that is you like what a journey we get to walk on let's do this Mwah. so much love to all of you Peace yeah thank you for watching and joining us you guys Mwah. ciao ciao